We are on to one of your favorite things. We are expanding brackets. Not waistlines, brackets. Well, I don't, but thanks for asking. All right, so with this, we're expanding brackets. Uh, the rules that we had for binomial products and for expanding brackets with algebra are exactly the same with thirds. Okay? So when you've got something outside of the brackets multiplied by something inside the brackets, you've got to multiply everything in the brackets. When you've got the FOIL method going on, when you've got binomial, then both things in the first set of brackets have to multiply by everything in the second set. It's pretty straightforward. So let's have a look at this first one. Expand and simplify. What are we going to do? <laughs> yes, that times that and okay, root 2 times that. So root 2 times, well, I can put it under the one root, remember? So I've got root 2 times 5 plus root 2 times 2. Now, you should be able to do these reasonably quickly. In fact, does anyone want to fix him up? It certainly is. 10 is not. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Now, honestly, this step here, as you get better at these, you will start to skip that step. Okay? Yes, but that's enough. There's, there's steps you can skip. Step. There's steps you can skip because what you've done is self-evident from what you write on the next step. Okay? But if you struggle with them, if you find they are still a bit daunting and all that, by all means, put that extra step in. It doesn't take very long. All right. Next one. I don't, unfortunately. I think that, that would be a wonderful thing. That would not be a problem. Don't tell me to booger off. <laughs> Nose is run in her family. I'm green with envy. No, that one. All right. Um, what do we do? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So, what do we get? Well done, skis. Awesome. It's better than... <laughs> a tissue in the box is better than one in the bush. Sorry, mate. Can you simplify them because they're all by three? You could pull out a common factor, but you'd end up with that because that is the common factor. That's the whole point. Like, when you expand it, you've, pulled, you've put the common factor back in. Oh, my Lord. You go out for a snot reg, you come back and you go, I don't know. We just multiplied across. Three root seven times two root three. So three two is a six. Seven three, 21. Then 3 root 7 times minus 3 root 2. Oh. Three, th 3 minus 3 is a minus 9. 3 2 is a 6. Everyone happy with that? All right, the next one. This is a binomial one, so what are we going to do? We have, a, we have a method. Philo. First inside, last outside. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Foil, dude, foil. I did it this way. Yeah. He got it. I mean, it was right. It was just weird. It looked weird. Okay, so what do we got? Root 2 times root 3 gives us? Root Certainly does. Then root 2 times minus root 2. What was it? Root 2 times minus root 2. Yeah. Notice what the root 2s are doing. When you've got a root 2 times root 2, what's happening in the square root? They cancel each other out. So I'm just going to put minus 2. Yes. 
Can you guys see where I got the minus 2 from? I had two, root 2 times minus root 2, which would give me minus root 4, which would give me minus 2. Cool? I just skipped the, those steps. You've got to start seeing that a square root of 2 times a square root of 2 leaves you with 2. Okay? Square root of A times square root of A gives you A. All right, so we've done that first set. What now? Yeah, so, yep, and? You know the battery operator chick gets bored. Solve Fermat's last theorem. Solve Fermat's last theorem. Look it up. Google, Google it. Fermat's last theorem. It's awesome because he wrote in the he wrote in the um, the uh, margin of a book. I have found a most excellent proof for this, but unfortunately, there's not enough room to write it down. I totally wrote. That was the last thing I ever found of his because he died. So. They weren't sure. It got called Fermat's last theorem. They're not sure. They think he probably didn't prove it because there was a guy, I think it was in the 80s, or was recently anyway, um, did prove it and he had to use maths that Fermat wouldn't have known. So, Anyway, next one. What do we do? The only one that does work is Pythagoras' theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. All right. That's correct. Fermat's last theorem. It's a classic. Because you can earn a million dollars. Yeah. There's a whole list of mathematical theories or mathematical proofs that need proving. Uh, and if you solve them, you can get a million bucks. There's a Russian guy who proved one. They offered him the million bucks and he said, nah. Still lives at home with his mum. Doesn't need it. He's a recluse. Okay. I'm kind of busy trying to teach you guys how to count. <laughs> I'm doing well, aren't I? Ah, oh, awesome. What do you reckon a million bucks would buy you? It wouldn't even buy the median house price in Sydney. A million pence, nice. Party boat. No, I, I. No, you. You. No one knows who you are, Daniel, Mr. Mueller. <laughs> Mr. Daniel Muir. No one will know who you are living in Forbes with a driver's license number. Okay, uh, so what do we do with this one? This is a binomial now. Did you guys recognize anything about this one? I might just rub out all the red stuff that I've just drawn so that you can have a look at it and go, hey, it looks like a... No. It looks like a difference of two squares. So when we have a difference of two squares, what do we know? How, like it's in the bracketed form, in the factorized form. What do we know when it's expanded? What's it going to look like? It looks a lot like what I'm writing right now, doesn't it? Okay, that's the difference of two squares, isn't it? So that's what it's going to come out like in the end. And square root of five squared will give you. Yes. And square root of 5 times square root of 5 cancels each other out. And what about this one? Okay. Nope. 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 What's 2 squared? 
What's the square root of 3 squared? Square root of 3 squared. Thank you. Hopefully I haven't made a mistake. It's always embarrassing on the interweb. I always feel like I've made mistakes. I second guess myself so often. And I don't know, it's stupid because I'm very rarely wrong. <laughs> uh, well, often, I will say often. But I also can't, can't pronounce pronunciation. So. What do you do? Yeah, I get my, pronu I get my pronunciation wrong. And as I said earlier, I put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. <laughs> syllable. I love my love, love number. Yes. Actually, if you solve it, you'll get 900. No, you'll probably get about. Yeah, so you'll probably get about 500,000. Yeah. $500,000. No, because it, it would be, you might get a little bit more. It depends on how much I decide to take. 